Hi everyone. So this video is going to be a taste test on the Micro Dwarf Tomato Chocolats. I don't know if I pronounced that right. <laughs> My name is Jen Joy and I am a tomato addict. I love growing all the varieties of tomatoes. This past year I started to get into growing Micro Dwarfs. At this point I probably have over 60 different varieties of Micro Dwarfs. I started growing these micro dwarfs in particular the end of October of last year in the winter. I wanted to see if I could get tomatoes in the winter. Now I will say this, they were slow growing and I think the flavor of the tomato changes whenever you put it out in the summer heat and the summer sun. So I waited to do taste tests on them until I think that the flavor was actually how they were supposed to taste. So it is now the end of May and they've been out in this nice warm greenhouse under the nice spring summer sun. For about five or six weeks now and I think that I can kind of get a grasp of what the actual flavor of them is going to be. Today we're going to taste test these here. They are chocolates. Now I know my plants don't look so great but they are um, even though they're not the healthiest looking plants because they're pretty old. They're what seven months old <laughs> and they are still trying. So let's pull some of the ripe tomatoes off of here. So here's one and I know there's another one on this one. Here's another one on this one. And as you can see, there's more tomatoes on here and the plant is, it's trying. It's trying its best to see more tomatoes, even though it's kind of, I neglected them a little bit. <laughs> Look at the new growth on the top of this one. See how healthy the new growth is? I mean, if you think your tomato plant is done, I implore you to give it another chance because tomato plants want to survive. They are fighters. When something wants to survive as much as a tomato plant does, I love it. And that's and that's why I fell in love with them. So let's taste test chocolates, chocolates. Okay, there's what the inside of that looks like. Really pretty. All right, let's give it a taste. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Okay. That's a little bit tart as I got into it, but that's full of flavor. Chocolates has a lot of flavor. I'm going to try the other one. Mmm. Not very sweet. Um, a good acidity. I gotta say, I just taste tested Fat Frog and another variety. And this one is like packed a punch, a tomato flavor punch. It's, uh, I think it's pretty acidic. It's good. I like it. <laughs> um, but I'm biased. There's a, not a whole lot of tomatoes that I don't like, but I enjoyed that. I like want another one. I don't think this one's very ripe though. Oh. I went ahead and pulled this one. I'm gonna see. That one's not very ripe. I'm gonna try this one. Mmm. Oh yeah, I like that. Chocolates is good. I actually save seeds from a tomato. Oh gosh, it's been a while. And then I accidentally left the seeds in the cup of water for far too long. And then all the seeds sprouted. So I have about 20 chocolates. Plant starts going. So I should have a lot of that. They're really good. I'm getting ready to go down into the garden and shoot a garden tour. And in the garden tour, I'll show you, I planted up a ton of micro dwarfs actually in my garden beds. But, so if you wanna see that, subscribe, like, and I will see you in that video. I hope you all enjoy your day.